back, everybody, to another episode of the Pokemon Crystal Let's Play. As always, I'm your host, Oz, and we are continuing right where we left off, right inside Cherry Grove City. Now, I, re editing back over my first video, I did realize that I made a monumental mistake when I said that second cities never have gyms. I think I actually put a note up, an annotation in the video, stipulating that. So, I apologize in retrospect for that. But we'll be continuing on. But before that, I just want to show a quick little thing here. Uh, the save option. In generations 1, 2, and 3, you had the option of overriding an old save file. Now in generations 4 and 5, you had to go into the main menu and delete your old save, your old save file from there before you were allowed to save your new game. This was probably done to prevent mistakes with new games or malicious little siblings from deleting your old game with a couple of presses of a button. This time it takes at least a minute to delete your old file in which time you've got plenty of time to find out the little brother or sister and give them a good pelting. <laughs> but let's get on with it. Now let's we want to talk to this old man here because he is what we like to call a guide gent. He's going to teach us a few things, which saves me having to do it. Let's see what he has to say. You guys better be rocking your shoulders to this. This is some catchy music. That's probably one of my favorite lines in the whole game. This is the sea, as you can see. Oh, this guy's got it. He's still got it. And if you saw that uh, chubby fellow on the rocks, in the water, he actually gives you uh, an, a useful little item once you manage to get the ability to use Surf on the overworld. Oh, look at that. He gave us a town map. For once, you don't get it from your parents. You get it from the old fella. Alright, so we're in Cherry Grove City. There's not really much of interest here apart from our first Pokemon Center and our first Pokemon Mart. Now, this thing is an antiquity nowadays because in Generation 5, Pokemarts were rubbed out of the game. They were integrated into the existing Pokemon Center building and just made into a larger building. So in Generation 5, you have the Pokemon Center and then you have the Pokemon Mart just off to the side. So these little fellas here are a bit of a relic. But we'll visit them plenty, don't worry. I have a feeling we'll need to. How's Steve looking? Oh, he's not looking too good. We better heal him up. Last thing we need is to white out, or black out. They change it so often in the games. I think it's white out now. I don't know why it's white out instead of black out. Maybe there was a racial thing? I don't know. Let's get on with the game! Now in Route 30 there will be plenty of new Pokemon to see and encounter and battle and defeat and get annoyed at. Case in point, this one. A Caterpie! <laughs> Caterpie are awesome. Anyone who watches the an who watched the original series of the anime would probably agree with me. I keep forgetting I can speed this thing up. Let's just do this quick. You don't want to see me fighting Caterpie all day. We leveled up again. Level 7. Wow, he's getting some good attack. That's good. Rage. Now, back in the first generation of games, that was either a do or die move in, a, in essence because once you used it, you couldn't stop. It was like Pringles, but in attack form. Unfortunately, there was a, a little bug with the move, because once you missed, its accuracy... Well, its accuracy was 99 point something out of 100%. But once you missed, it became 0.1% accuracy. No, sorry, my producer's telling me 0.4% accuracy. So that means that means it had 99.6 originally. So once you missed with Rage, its accuracy became the opposite. And you were still stuck using it until... You won, or you lost. Yes. 
uh, in this generation, Rage is it's handy. Especially if you're going to be in for a long slog. More items. Antidote. Now, this will be useful if we run into a Weedle. Because in second generation, uh, if you get poisoned, you still get poisoned in the overworld. In generation 4, if you got poisoned, the poison would wear off once you your Pokemon reached 1 HP. And in generation 5, you were no longer poisoned in the overworld. That is, if you kept walking, your Pokemon would not accumulate slow damage. Oh, string shot failed. I didn't know it could do that. 95% accuracy? Maybe. That's another thing. If I'd have picked uh, Cyndaquil or Chikorita, so I can name them properly this time, uh, we would have had uh, our starting move as Tackle. And in Generation 2, Tackle is a 35 power, 95 accuracy move. So that means it's actually weaker than Scratch. In Generations 5, in Generations 5, and 5.5, I guess you could call it, and Black 2 and White 2. Uh, tackle is a 50 power move with 100% accuracy, which made uh, a couple of Pokemon very, very powerful. But we're not going to go into that. We're still talking about Crystal. As always, we're just doing little comparisons here and there. And we've leveled up again. Oh, who's going to stand up to us now, huh? No one. That's who. That's who. I tell you what. And we have a Poison Kill Berry, which is essentially an antidote in berry form. It is, in Generation 3, it is the Pecha Berry, I believe. Yes, Pecha. Mm. I always get uh, the Pecha mixed up with the Paralysis Berry. Which is the Cherry Berry, of course. And I always get the Cherry mixed up with the Leper. Not Leper, as in you have Leprosy. Leper, L-E-P-P-A. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We have the mystery egg. Oh man, I'm just rambling here. I'm forgetting important story events. Oh, look at this old bastard. Catchy music. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Tap and B, tap and B, tap and A, and tap and B, tap and A. Now, let's just get on with this. Come on, old man. We know what you want to do. You want to give me a Pokedex, don't you? We have the Pokedex! Oh yes! We're only one of 50 billion people to get a Pokedex. It's a rarity, man. High tech! Thank you, my good sir. Now, I don't know what all... Get out of there. I don't know what these wires do. Uh, I'm sure they're just an aesthetic thing, but in first generation of games, that is RBY, uh, there were rumors that you could get underneath them and get access to special Pokemon. And we have a call from the professor. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! We better hurry back there. This could be a real problem. Go, 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 go. Avengers Assemble! And we can't go that way because they're blocking it. Because they are irritating. So we can't profess further in the game until we head back to the laboratory. Oh, that's just a D move. You know what? I'm going to run from this guy. No point in doing it. Let's go into the Pokemon for a second. I want to show you new guys. This is exactly what it looks like. So here we have our little... Nice little supermarket setup. And fridges. Even though it's Pokemon merchandise, I'm sure it's like a Pepsi bottle or something with a picture of a Pikachu on it. Can you. Can I get anything off you? No, I, okay. So, as you can see, you start off with 3,000 uh, Poke, or Poke dollars, depending on how you want to say it. Uh, in Japan, it is, of course, just the yen. Uh, but over here, the exchange rate in the West is a little screwy because it's about. Essentially, a hundred yen to one uh, dollar. Well, at least it was back then when they decided to convert the currency system. So, a uh, potion is three hundred poke dollars, but really it's three hundred yen, so it's about three dollars. 
Uh, you'll notice we can't buy a Pokeball yet. We haven't even seen a Pokeball yet. That's because we can't catch Pokemon yet. And we're not supposed to be catching Pokemon yet. Alright. Enough of this town. And these little women and the little flowers and... Cherry Grove City. The city of cute, fragrant flowers. Um, let's do a quick save. Because I have a sneaking suspicion we're about to enter our first trainer battle. And look who it is! It's the redhead dude who was skulking outside the Pokemon lab. Who would have thunk it? Oh, this guy's got a mouth on him. Definitely my favorite track in all of Generation 2. And he's got a nice sprite too. We're being battled by punctu <laughs> punctuation is battling us. We're being battled by grammar. Son of a bitch, he's got a chikorita. But you are no match for my Steve. Now in this battle we probably want to use Rage. Because he'll just keep attacking. See, tackle. Steve's rage is building. His attacks are getting more powerful. So we're just going to keep using this for a bit. Look at that! Critical hit, Biatch! And I think one more should just about do it. Oh, too easy! He couldn't do a thing. He could not lift a finger. And we won, and we won. Dun 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 dun. Yes, I'm happy that I won. Yeah, you know what we're gonna call him, don't you? Oh, something malicious. I think it's definitely good if the rap music on the first round in the game is nice and catchy and upbeat. Uh, I didn't really like the uh, original root music, route root, call it what you want. Uh, in Diamond, Pearl and Platinum, it seemed a bit uh, wistful to me. Now, where are we going to go? We're going to go back up here. Right away. He gasped. There's a male courier here. What's he doing? Is he giving us new Pokemon? Oh, yes. I happened to get his name alright. His name was question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, he was a cop. <gasps> I think I just ratted him out to a cop. Now here's this little uh, fake rumor that I was telling you all about in the last video. Right there. So yes, you can see that you obviously cannot get through that gap. So, rumor dispelled. Pokemon Gym Challenge, eh? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, so we have to talk to our mum. And we have our first Pokeballs. Fantastic. Alright, let's go talk to our mother. Hey, that other woman is gone. This is the only game... Not this, uh... Gold Silver and Crystal are the only games where you get the option to have your parents save you money. Which I thought was a neat little addition because it meant you weren't irresponsibly spending all your money away because after all, you're only 10 years old and you're beating up other trainers with monsters. But we're going to say yes. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Alright, now let's get on with it. This guy gets a bad rap. No, I don't want to say. Unfortunately, this poor guy got rubbed out again in Generation 4 because he was replaced by the other gender character. Uh, Centret, I don't think we're going to catch you. We're just going to beat you. We're on level 9. 
Now there is actually a Pokemon or two that I would like to catch, and we're going to go right there, right now. See this building right here? This building here, this innocent looking building? It's not really a building, it's a gate! You can walk right through it. Yeah, that old game mechanic. The subject of many a satirical image and comic. Alright, and there's a fair few, uh, unusual Pokemon here. Eh, uh, Rattata, no. There's one. A Spearow. We're gonna catch one. Now, should I save Scum or not? I'm gonna say no. Make it interesting. We have a Spearow. What is it? It's a female Spearow, so we're gonna call it... Hmm... Names, 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 names. We're gonna call it Flappy. Because <laughs> I can't think of anything better at the moment. Should have called it Miss Flappy. That would have been better. Too late now. Let's see if we can get... There it is. The Geodude. The rarest of the rare. If you're insane. These things are common as chips, really. And let's catch one. Pack. I don't want to use a potion. That's ridiculous. Geodude's data. Woohoo! We have our third Pokemon already! Oh, dang! Now, let's give it a nickname. Let's call it... Hmm, what's something that has a, something to do with rocks that I know of? Let's call him... Oh, I've just been handed a note by my producer. Apparently, the rarest of the rare in Route 46, the route I'm currently on, in Pokemon Crystal is the Fampy. You can find Fampy? Really? 5% in the morning. Wow. That is interesting. I didn't even know that, and I've been playing this game for 10 years. Wow. Um, let's call him... Shanrock. After Shanrock Starfish, the lovely man who I'm currently doing a Diablo Let's Play with. Um, the first episode of that, I think, will be coming up... Uh, it either came out a couple of days ago, or it'll be coming out on the weekend. So, let's call him Shanrock. Alright, now we need to heal up. <laughs> One tap of A to talk, ten taps of B to get out. No, I don't want to go that way. That was my bad. Okay, let's go this way. I think we need to catch a couple more Pokemon. What do you think? Do we want a Caterpie? Uh... Okay, so Caterpie evolves into Metapod at 7 and Butterfree at 10, but... I'm not sure they give anything really nice. So, let's go Flappy. These guys need training. Hopip! Definitely not catching you, you're worthless. In, well, in these games, anyway. You're gonna give me a handy bit of experience, aren't you? Powering through, powering through. Let's... You can do this! Look at that, we've got two levels already. Oh, son of a biatch! Going down now, boy. Shenrock has experience. Going down, going down. Who's gonna win? Oh, it's going. Oh, we win. Another one. Alright. Oh, missed, see? 35.95, it's, it's not what it can be. Oh, I'm getting critical hits on me. 
But that is the game. Look at that. It's 20 minutes. I think we'll get them both to five. And then we'll call it quits for this video. Oh, two missed tackles in a row. That is a one in 400 shot. Look at that. 15 experience on level... Uh, 15 experience. 15 defense on level five. Wow. All right. Go down. But I think we've had an eventful video. We've had highs and lows. The low being when I did the numerous things that I did. The high being we found out that you can find a Fampy in Route 46. So I'm going to call it quits for this video. Now let's save our progress. As always, you can never save your progress enough. Sometimes you might even double save. You'll save and then you think, did I save five seconds ago? And then you'll save again. But... I will see you guys next time on the next episode of the Pokemon Crystal Let's Play. Thanks for watching.